Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how you can create a loading bar effect in VSTC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to create a loading bar effect in VSTC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, the first thing which I would like to do is I would like to create a rectangle on screen. And so, to do that, go to Add Object, select Rectangle and then click on OK. Now mark your rectangle on top of the screen like this. And now center align your rectangle. So first click on this option which is horizontal align center and then click on this option which is vertical align center. Perfect. Now let's remove the color inside the rectangle. Let's remove this white color. So look inside the rectangle object settings which is present inside the properties window and right here below you will find this fill background option where currently solid is selected. So change this to transparent and now right above inside the pen section you will find this color option where currently black is selected. So change this from black to white and thickness currently is 1 so increase the thickness from 1 to 15 and then press enter perfect now I would like to reduce the duration of my rectangle object in the timeline so currently the duration of my rectangle object is 10 seconds so let me just reduce the duration from 10 seconds to 5 seconds perfect and now double click on the rectangle object. Now what we will do is we will create a text object inside the rectangle. And so to do that go to add object, go to text, click on text and then click on OK. Now mark your text object inside the rectangle like this. Perfect. Now what we will do is we will write some text inside the text box and what I will write is simply the letter I in capital. So let me just write I in capital and now let me just select the text and change the font to Broadway. So write Broadway inside the font and press enter. And now increase the text size to somewhere around let's say 200 pixels. Okay, it's a bit too much. So let me just write let's say 150 pixels. A little less. So 130 pixels. Let me just see how it is looking. Okay, I need to increase it. First of all, let me just center align my text. So select the text, go to paragraph and click on this one, center align. Perfect. And now let me just continue writing the letter I. So I, I, I till the very end. Perfect. And now let me just adjust it properly so that it fits inside the rectangle. Perfect. All right. Now what we will do next is we will change the color of the letter I. So let me just select all my all my text and right here you will find this text color option and I would like to select this red color right here. Okay, this is orange. I would like to select this orange color right here. Perfect. And now double click on the text object. So in our main timeline, we have the rectangle object and inside the rectangle object, we have our text object. And now we will double click on the text object and go to text effects, select recoloring and then click on OK. And so now if I just go back to the main editing timeline, and if I just quickly play the video for you. 
as you can see a loading bar is now taking shape all right what i would like to do is i would like to decrease the duration of this text coloring effect which is inside the text object so currently the duration is 5 seconds so let me just decrease the duration to 2 second 500 millisecond perfect and so now if i just quickly play the video for you perfect one final thing which i would like to do is i would like to write a loading text right below this loading bar and so let me just go to add object go to text click on text and then click on ok now create a text object right below the loading bar like this and write the text loading and let me just also add three dots like this and let me just first of all center align my text and let me just change the font to Arial and let me just decrease the text size to somewhere around 100 pixels okay let me just change the text color as well to white okay i would like to decrease the text size a little bit so let me just write let's say let's say 79 pixels perfect and i would like to decrease the duration of this text object this loading text all right and so i would like to make it two seconds 500 milliseconds because by that time my loading bar will be complete so let me just write two seconds 500 milliseconds inside the duration option and press enter and what i would like to do next is i would like to add a fade in effect and a fade out effect in a loop and so double click on the text object this text object and go to video effects go to transparency select fade in and then click on ok now again go to video effects go to transparency select fade out and then click on ok now place this fade out effect after the fade in effect like this and once again let me just go to video effects Go to transparency select fade in and then click on ok and let me just place this fade in effect after the fade out effect and let me just decrease its duration to 500 milliseconds so let me just see how things are looking so first i have the fade in effect whose duration is one second then i then i have the fade out effect whose duration is one second and again I have the fade in effect whose duration is 500 millisecond so let me just quickly play the video okay one thing which I would like to do is reduce the duration of the fade in effect so currently the duration is one second so let me just reduce it to 500 millisecond and now after that let me just place the fade out effect and reduce its duration to 500 millisecond then again comes the fade in effect and then i would like to add a fade out effect so let me just go to video effects go to transparency select fade out and then click on ok now decrease the duration of this fade out effect to 500 milliseconds so let me just write 500 inside the duration option and press enter and finally let me just go to video effects go to transparency select fade in and then click on ok now first reduce its duration to 500 milliseconds and then place it right at the end like this perfect 
perfect all right and so now if i just quickly play the video for you perfect so this is how you can create a loading bar in vscc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see in the next video till then thanks for watching